As Cute as a Mouse, Chapter 1, a Miraculous Ladybug fanfiction written and narrated by Mira Rose. Artwork by Selena Celine on Instagram. Super cute art, totally inspired this fanfiction. Go check her out. You can find all of Selena's social media in the description box. Once again, go give the artist the like, the love, the interactions that she deserves for this. Now then, if you haven't already, welcome to this channel. This is where I, Mira, hi, that's me, write and narrate fanfiction for you to enjoy in your own time. If you'd like to see more Miraculous Ladybug fanfiction, don't forget to subscribe to this channel and hit the bell to stay up to date on the latest parts of your favorite fanfiction, including this one. And while we're in that area, don't forget to smash the like button and leave a comment in support. If you don't know what to put, type Gabriel Agrest's Muse. That's M-U-S-E. Now then, please enjoy As Cute as a Mouse, Chapter 1. An unexpected muse. Adrian looked up from the table to see his father mumbling at his tablet, a cup lingering in front of his lips, yet to be sipped. What is? he asked, hoping it was okay to ask. This multi-mouse. Gabriel flicked his wrist to show a picture of her. As ridiculous as these miraculous holders are, this one carries an energy I haven't seen in a long time. Adrian knew his father's distaste for the miraculous holders. According to him, if Ladybug and Cat Noir weren't here in the first place, Hawkmoth wouldn't terrorize the city. So whenever a new miraculous holder appeared, he would groan and change channels until the 15 minutes of fame were over. What do you mean? She's rather... Adrian couldn't tell if his father trailed off in thought or if he was reading an article. Cute. Cute? Adrian tried to be nonchalant, but he agreed with his father for once. Marinette, rather multi-mouse, was cute. I'd love to do a line with this kind of cute energy. Well, if you do, I know just the person, Adrian said. His father didn't bother to look up. Yes, well, we shall see. Not thinking much more of the conversation, Adrian went about his life, too busy to care about his father's whims. It's not like he ever knew what he was up to in the first place anyway. He went about, that is, until his father announced his next campaign's theme. In fact, he hadn't noticed his father announced a campaign until Natalie knocked on his bedroom door to ask for the girl he had in mind for a multi-mouse look. So, completely unprepared, Adrian picked up his cell phone to call his old classmate. It'd been two years since he sat in front of her. Would she still answer? When's the last time you'd seen her, anyway? Hello? Adrian? He felt himself relax at the voice at the other end. Hey, he said. Uh, how's it going? Uh, I'm... He heard her set something down. Good, I'm good. Why? What's up? I... No, it's kind of out of the blue, but, uh, would you be willing to model with me? Whatever she set down must have slipped, because he heard a thump and some scuffling before she answered. Model? With you? She repeated. Yeah, I think you'd be a good fit for my father's new line. It'd be on Saturday. Would you be free? Would I be free? Oops, that's not what I meant. I mean available. You'd be paid, of course. As far as compensation goes... He checked the paperwork. We're looking at 8,000 euros, but taxes would have to come out of that. Is that okay? Eight? 
Marinette repeated. Was that not enough? I mean, I could ask for nine, but... No, no! Eight's good! She exclaimed. I'm totally okay with eight! Good. He felt a wave of relief at her answer. It was always awkward negotiating contracts for the undiscovered. Do you want me to pick you up or meet you there? Pick me? You'd pick me up? Yeah, of course. Does noon work? Uh, 12.30 would be pushing it, but noon! Noon is good! <laughs> Great! Adrian laughed into the phone. Time had passed, but she was just as delightful as he remembered. I'll treat you to Starbies when we're done, okay? Uh, um, sure. Great. See you then. The bakery, right? Yeah, yeah, but, uh, Adrian? Yeah? Never mind. No, what? I kind of cut you off earlier. It's, uh, I'll, I'll tell you later. Great. I'm looking forward to seeing you again. He heard her inhale from the other end. Me too. They exchanged goodbyes and Adrian rolled into bed, kicking the comforter as he squealed. He was going to do a photo shoot with Marinette. He loved Marinette, so spending time with her again would be such a treat. You're doing that silly thing again with your face, Plagg commented, resurfacing to visit the fridge Adrian kept beside his desk. Silly thing? You mean smiling? Adrian asked. Yeah, that. Adrian rolled his eyes, choosing to ignore the Kwame's jest. I'm just excited to work with her. Not like you do it every day, Plagg mumbled through a mouth of cheese. What was that? Nothing, he burped, going out of view to retrieve another piece of camembert. Sassy little, Adrian began, turning his attention to his phone instead. Adrian flipped through the pictures of Multi Mouse and his father's designs, noting how perfect they were for each other. It'd been a long time since he'd seen his father hunker down on a project like this, and it made him smile. This was good. Father had finally taken a step forward from the coffin he'd built around himself when Mom... Well, best not think about that. The designs were good, although definitely more casual than Adrian was used to seeing Father produce. Was Multimouse really the inspiration behind the design? Whatever it was, he hoped the muse stuck. Not only would it be good for his father but he also couldn't help but want to work with Marinette. He loved her, after all. As a friend, of course, but still, he couldn't wait. Smiling to himself, Adrian rolled over in bed and opened the Starbucks app on his phone, browsing through their menu as he thought about Saturday. This would be good. This would do well for him. It would do well to rekindle a relationship with his beloved friend who was, of course, as cute as a mouse. Thank you so much for listening. Chapter 2 is on the way. If you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe to this channel and hit the bell for notifications. Check out the artist, link in the description box, and smash the like button and leave a comment in the comment section. Oof! What a to-do list. If you don't know what to comment, put as cute as a mouse. I'll catch you in the next one. Bye!